name is Aaron Lodge. I'm the executive chef of People's Steakhouse up here at Red Rock. Um, right now I'm cooking a 22 ounce bone-in ribeye, a 42 ounce T-bone steak, and a 20 ounce Chateau Brion. Um, all of our meats are dry aged with a 28 day in the dry age and another 14 day aged wet. And we source out all from the U.S making sure we get products from all over the country so we're getting the best available products. Our aging process is a little different from some areas. You know, ours is we dry or we wet or dry age it for 28 days and then after that we'll do all the trimming, the cutting, and then we'll wet age it for another 14 days so that way we've got the optimal flavor of not only having the nuttiness and the robust flavor of the dry age but that way we can also maximize keeping the moisture in there by letting it actually wet age for a little bit longer. Um, we do our steaks a little bit differently. I like to get a nice sear and a nice crust on it. So we got these new boilers in about a couple years ago to really let us kind of get a nice crust on there and let it sear in so that way all the juices stay on the inside of the steak. Um, it also lets us kind of sear the ability or keep the ability to make sure that every part of the steak has a nice char on it and it doesn't have extra burnt parts from just sitting in the boiler if it's a medium or a medium well and it gives it a nice kind of even cooking all the way across the steak itself. Uh, our boilers get up to 1200 degrees. Um, I've got two of them. I've got the one here and I've got the one here. Um, any given night, especially on the weekends, I've got both of them going at full blast and they're completely full of steak. I'll let, you know, I'll let the bigger ones sit a, bit, a little bit longer, that way they've got time to carry over. Um, one of our biggest things is we brush them with butter, season with a nice sea salt right before they go out, so that way they've got the nice richness of the, the butter fat to it, as well as giving it a little bit of salt just at the end to kind of give it that kick of the flavor right at the beginning. I was always taught that salt is always the king of the kitchen. So. Like, my favorite part is actually the steakhouse and just for the fact that a steakhouse can be many, many different things. A steakhouse can be a classic American steakhouse, which we're modeled after, but it also gives you the ability to really incorporate some fun items in there. Uh, adding some Asian influences by bringing in the Japanese kofi, by adding some Italian flavors to it, by you know, incorporating some different stuff or, you know, use, utilizing different products. I think in a, a steakhouse itself is kind of very vague and you kind of leave everything to the interpretation of the chef of where they want to take it and what they want to do. Um, get that set up. We'll do daily specials. Uh, Japanese Waigao, we'll do daily specials, ranging from salads to appetizers, um, basically just looking at what's at the farmer's market, what's in season, you know, what I can get, and kind of go from there. Right here we've got our 20 ounce Chateaubriand, uh, start with our bouquetier of fresh vegetables of some baby carrots, little grilled asparagus, some chipotle onions, and some steamed broccoli. Uh, next plate I have here is our 42 ounce T-bone with um, same vegetables, the Chipotle and the onions, baby carrots, asparagus, and broccoli. Uh, it's also served with our peppercorn brandy sauce, our bordelais sauce, our wasabi mirin creamy horseradish, and a smoked chipotle horseradish. And then right here we have our 22 ounce T bone with a smoked creamy horseradish, the peppercorn brandy again, and then the bordelais. Um, every single one of these meats, with the exception of the tenderloin, is dry aged. Um, everything is cooked to order and to temperature. Oh, yeah. <laughs>